In this question, a liquid in a container is placed on a heater. The temperature time graph is shown for the liquid and we have to find the power of the heater. I wrote down some key information below that is given in the question. The mass of the liquid is 0.6 kilograms. The specific latent heat of vaporization of the substance is 200 kilojoules per kilogram and I wrote down that delta t, the change in time, is 40 seconds. Let me explain this in a bit more detail. Looking at the graph we see three sections. The first section is a sloping section, the second section is a horizontal line and the third section is again a sloping line. In the first section the substance is at a liquid stage and is heating up. In the second section, where the line is horizontal, the liquid is changing into gas, so it's vaporizing. And in the third section, the substance is in a fully vaporized form and it's heating up again. In the question we are given the latent heat of vaporization of the substance. This value shows us the amount of energy required per kilogram of substance to change from a liquid to a gas form. In other words, the specific latent heat of vaporization is used to make calculations during the phase change of the substance. Since the horizontal line on the graph represents this phase change, which takes 40 seconds, I chose delta t to be equal to 40 seconds because we are only going to focus on the period when the liquid is changing into a gas. Now that we clarified why delta t is equal to 40 seconds, we can use equations to calculate the power of the heater. We will use this equation from subtopic 3.1 where Q is the energy supply to the liquid, M is mass and L is specific latent heat. I will divide both sides of this equation by delta T. So I get Q over delta T is equal to M times L over delta T. I did this division because by looking at this equation from subtopic 8.1 we can see that power is equal to energy over time so I can replace the left side of this equation by power which I will call P. Let's substitute our values so we get 0.6 times 200 over 40. 0.6 times 200 is 120 and that's divided by 40 Simplifying by 10, I get 12 over 4, which is equal to 3, and our unit here is in kilojoules, because L was in kilojoules per kilograms. Finally, using this conversion from the metric multiplier section of the data booklet, I see that K stands for 10 to the power of 3, so 3 kilojoules is equal to 3000 joules, which means that the answer to this question is B.